Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And this will be the last video on this project that I'm working through right now. It is the Daydreams Coloring Book by Hannah Carlson. And you've been sticking with me on it. Thank you so much. I love how it's turning out. Got some great colors. I hope that you're happy with it as well. And today I'm going to be finishing up by doing this little spiky thing here and then the fish. So let me pull you in. And let's get coloring on this. All right. So what I decided that I'm going to do is we've got a lot of colors working here. And you don't want to, you know, get too much competition between what you're doing because it defeats the purpose. So I want to get something that's going to make this guy stand out. And what I decided to do is I'm going to work with my fine liners. Specifically, I'm going to use the fluorescent colors. So this is going to be really pretty. Let me show you how they look, you can see that bright green, the pink and the orange. Let me pull this up for you. There you go. So I think that's gonna, well, I know it's gonna work out to look really well because obviously I wouldn't do it. So let me do a little bit of this. I'm not gonna have you sit all the way through it and I'll put you uh, in real close so you can see what I'm doing. You know, I like to work in micro view for you. And I think you're going to see how nice this will come out. All right. If you don't have these fine liners, you can try a, um, uh, okay, it'll come to mind in a minute. Let's see. Oh, the flares is what I would recommend. And these have a pretty good point on them. Let me show you. So you'd be able to do the same thing, but you won't have your bright colors. The other thing I would suggest if you don't have fine liners is get some fine liners. They're great for areas such as this. Teeny tiny spots. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to start on the center here. Now I'm going to have you hang with me for doing this whole this whole center because there's something that I want to show you when I go to do the outside. Be sure that you are careful with staying in your line. We've done so much on this that we really want to keep the integrity of this while we're down to the last bits and pieces here. 
a lot of time and effort. So let's sweat the details on this. Now remember on marker that the more times you go over it, the more vibrant the color, which is fine. You just gotta be careful that you're not soaking through to the other side. All right. Now I'm going to get my very bright green, which you can absolutely see. And again, I want you to stick with me for a second because there, there's a specific reason and thing I'm going to show you. But this is going really quick. see what we got here <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do now and the reason I wanted you to stick with me is this. I'm going to reverse now what I'm doing on the stems and the little bulbs. So where I did the stems in pink, I'm going to now do them in the green. Now this part I'm not going to have you stick with me the whole time but I just want to show you this and then I'll finish it up off camera so I wanted something distinct here and notice when I'm doing this I'm not just willy-nilly coloring in I'm literally taking the time to follow the lines. Okay, that's enough right there. All right, so watch this now. So now I'm gonna color in the little bulbs. And you'll be able to see the really nice contrast that I have between the two and alternating the two. And this is why we sweat the details on this teeny tiny stuff. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. All right, so I'm gonna pull out now. Look at that, isn't that neat? So that's the effect that I wanted, is I wanted the, the gold center, and then I wanted the pink and the green, and then I alternated it, I flipped it by making the stems green here and then the bulbs pink, whereas the stems were pink and the bulbs were green. So that's gonna make a really nice little burst <coughs> uh, contrast to the rest of this. Well, not contrast, it, it mingles with it. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. <clears throat> I 
It complements it, but it sticks out. So because of everything else that's going on here, there's a lot of busy colors, but I wanted my colors to go ahead and work with each other, which they do. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause here so you can see the rest of this after I finish it, okay? So there it is, and I'll be back in a few. All right, I'm back, and here's the finished piece. What do you think? I'm happy with it. Gives me the really nice burst effect that I wanted. The only thing that I did change is I took the center and I made that purple instead of the uh, gold that I had because I lost that color in there. So now I had a distinct center. All right, let me pull you out. And I'll have you take a look now at the whole thing. Give me a second here. Let's see what you think. There you go. Look how nicely that burst stays visible with everything else going here. And the trick to this whole thing, which I've talked about on and off during this whole coloring, is you don't want to lose any one element within the whole picture. Conversely, you don't want any one element sticking out like a sore thumb. So between the choice of colors, which was the purples, which I'd already used over here, the oranges, which blend, the red, the tans, the brown, it just comes together beautifully. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's the thing that I wanted to just make you aware of. I hope you like what I'm doing so far. As I said, I'm happy with it. And you know me by now that if I'm not happy with something, I'll tell you, even if it is during a broadcast. All right. So now I'm going to be working on the fish. Let me pull you in. And for this particular portion here, I need you to stick with me through the whole thing, or most of it, because I'm gonna be doing a couple of slightly different things on it that you might not have seen before. All right, so to do this, let me pull you in. Get you right situated. There we go. What I'm gonna need is a protractor, and you'll need that as well if you're if you decide to follow me step by step. And I'm going to be using glitter pens. Now the brand that I have is called, let me see here. Oh, Tanmit. T-A-N. M-I-T, and I'm real happy with that brand, T-A-N, as in Nancy, M-I-T. They come in a box of 120 unique colors, and they also give you, at least when I bought them, 120 refills. So you have like double the pens. Again, that was Tanma, T-A-N, M as in Mary, I-T. All right, so what I'm gonna do, and it's a little bit different, is I'm gonna take my protractor, and you see where I've got this back line right here? All right, so I'm gonna line that up. This thickness works out really well, actually. And I'm going to take my purple glitter pen and I'm going to draw a line right across the fish. S 
skipping over the center bar. All right. Then what I'm going to do is get my trusty paper towel. And I'm going to start my coloring. Now, when you color scales, the trick to doing them is you need to come up just slightly short of the black line because if you don't, your scale is going to disappear. All right, so. And the other trick of this is that you only want to pass over the scale once because the more that you pass over it with gel pen, the darker it gets. And we don't want those scales to disappear. Now, some of you might already see what I'm doing with this. And what the method to my madness is. Sorry, you're off camera there. You know I'm gonna do that once in a while. Mm -hmm. I love these tan mitt pens. They just work very well. I don't use them very often and they still flow. Now, yeah, I get one or two that, you know, get jammed up, but that happens. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do the whole set of purple scales on camera, but I do want to do enough to show you the effect that I want, which you'll see in a second. Okay, I think that's enough for now. All right. Now I'm going to take my protractor. Got to let this dry a second let me, and let me pull you out. And I'm going to take my green. Now, the reason I'm doing the green next and why I didn't do the green first was I don't really want the green next to the blue because it's going to be a little dark. In other words, my bubbles are already green, so I just didn't want that interfering visually. 
All right, so now I'm gonna move my protractor over to about there. This is cool. And I'm going to draw my next line. to continue my coloring of my scales along the lines I just drew. What do you think? It's just a little different way to color a fish. We've all seen a ton of it online but you know me I like to be a little different And again, you want to make as much effort as possible to stay off your black. But of course, you want to fill in your scales. And you can already see the effect that I've got with this. which I think is pretty cool. That's why I'm showing it to you. I'm pull you out just a little bit here. Now, these three little doohickeys on the outside, I'm gonna wait because I've got larger versions of them here. So I'm just gonna hold on. I think you're gonna like the effect of this when I get through here. That's why I want you to hang with me because I want you to see this building up. And by the way, guys, I hope my videos bring a little joy into your life. 
with both the coloring and me yakking at you. I love my coloring, I love teaching. Several of you sent me emails telling me that you really enjoy what I'm doing. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my purple. The jury was kind of out on this. I'm going to go ahead and color inside these loops. Yeah. Okay, I've got a color half right there. Yep. There we go. And the effect of this is going to be absolutely beautiful once I pop that third color in. And remember, this is glitter pen. All right. Yeah, I think that looks cool. And again, every single color that I'm using in the fish so far is somewhere else on the page. And I talked to you a little bit about that is to use colors throughout when you can. Now, having said that, however, let's say you wanted your fish to be like really distinct okay then yeah go with something totally different for example what would have been really neat with this fish would be to go grayscale with it in pencil And actually, that is what I'm going to be doing on one of my future projects, is doing grayscale. And by grayscale, I mean with gray, gray colored pencil. You know what I mean. Look how neat this is looking. Okay, so now I've got all the green done. I'm not gonna go back and do the purple because I, you know, that doesn't matter right now with this effect that I want you to see. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it up with the orange. Wait until you see this, or gold. Here we go.
and the next time that you have a piece that you're doing that may lend itself to doing something like this, consider doing it. I encourage you when you color to go down a slightly different path than what everybody else is doing. Now, I didn't necessarily say different, I said slightly different. Just think outside of the box a little bit. And that's what I try and get you to do when I do my colorings. And now with this orange, I think you can see why I chose not to put this bluish green as the outside color because of this green with the bubbles. And I'm going to pull this out in a second so you can see how this is looking. It's looking pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, let me pull out now. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I love it. And of course, I'll be doing this purple, finishing up the purple. I love how it's turning out. All right, so let me show you a couple more things on this. Oops, getting a little tilty with my camera. Hold on a second here. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, still got my orange, is I'm going to go ahead and color the little ruffle here. And the reason that I'm using the orange is because I'm in this orange field, okay? So it, it in effect, is a natural continuation of the coloring. Okay, and that dot is still in the orange field. Let's, let's see. Yeah, this circle's still in the orange. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm gonna be funky with this and put that in the green. Look at that. The result being, it now looks like a transparent plate. Woohoo! All right, so now I'm gonna go here with this. There we go. Having a little fun with that. Okay. 
And let me get some red here. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. What do I tell you? Always start light. Now, notice I've got the darker red on top, the lighter red on the bottom. Let's see something. I wonder. Hmm. All right, see that little detail? It really gives that lip some oomph. Oh. Catch that little red there. Let's see what we can do here. All right, I'm gonna pull a soft pink. Very, very light. And I'm going to grab my blender pencil because I don't like how that's... Let me see something. I've got a lighter pink. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm just going to blend it with a lighter pink. Boy, that pink looks awful in the camera. Let me see something. Let me move my light a little bit and see if that helps. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and blend that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my red again. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a little cheek blush right there.
and it looks kind of wonky close up. But from a distance, it looks really good. Okay, let me pull you out. And you can see where we are so far on the fish. There you go. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna finish up these little doodads off camera. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you these ideas. I'll finish the purple. And then I'll do something with these little, uh, probably some red right here, just to pick up the red in the, in the, uh, lips. Here, let me do that real quick. So remember when I told you to look at your overall image and pick up colors when you can from it in different spaces? I don't do that just to do it, do it within reason. All right, that's what I'm doing with the fish. So now my fish is my field, okay? So I've got the red lips, so now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the red in these decorations. Pick up the red, uh, let's see, right there, and there, and there. All right, guys, so basically, except for this purple being done, I think that's enough on the fish. I'm going to finish it up off camera. And then if you want to see the finished piece, just go ahead and join my group on Facebook, Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. I will have it posted there. You can see how she looks. And I'm going to go ahead now and pull you out so you can see the whole piece. There you be. What do you think? I'm thinking it's looking really good. I like it. I'm happy with it. I like the balance. I like the fish. Just good stuff. Love this. I just think that turned out really well. All right, guys. I hope you learned something. More importantly, I hope you had fun. I thank you so much for, for spending time with me. Really appreciate it. All right, guys, this is Eileen Vick for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. This is the fish and the ocean scene out of the daydreams by Hannah Carlson. Joyous, joyous coloring. Until next time, then. Bye.